Yes, I am back with chapter, uh, part five of uh, the evilness of astrology and horoscopes and mediums and zodiac signs and all of that, bringing some, some truth to all that darkness that God hates. And we covered a lot in the last uh, four uh, parts. So, so make sure you start with part one so you can follow me all the way up to part five where I'm going to wrap it up today. I'm going to wrap it up in this particular lesson. Amen. God is so good. God is so good. Uh, thank you for joining. Let's, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come right now just to say thank you. Thank you for, Lord, getting me through this lesson as I teach this lesson, Father God, some 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 dirty untruth that you hate, some, some uh, evil that you hate, Father God, and you warn your people like you're warning us today, Father God. Um, Lord, help us to understand. Help us understand what you mean and what you require of us. Father, decrease my flesh and give my spirit a special anointing as I continue to wrap up this series of lessons, Father God, in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. So we covered a lot. So we're down to part five. We're going to wrap it up. Praise be to God. I thank all of you who have followed me. You know, don't forget to to uh, do comments. You know, if you have a question, you know, uh, just put it in comments, and you know, at, when I read them, I you know, I try to get back to you and answer them. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, well, Per Robinson, you read Old Testament verses. We don't live by the Old Testament laws anymore. Mm hmm. Okay. Says who? Just asking a question. I know we are under grace now. I know we are under grace now. However, comma, we as Christians have to acknowledge the whole Bible. So what I ask you, are we going to take out the Old Testament, throw it away? I'm just going to live by grace now? No, Christ, Christ came to fulfill the whole Bible. He didn't come to take away the Old Testament. He came to fulfill it. So we cannot take out and say, okay, mm, Leviticus and all that old, mm, we don't live by that anymore. You know, I mean, that that's part two because the, the, the Leviticus have so many laws, has so many laws, over 600 laws. And God knew that we, we, we couldn't keep those laws. God had a ram in the bush for us. And that ram was Jesus Christ to die on the cross because he knew that we would never be able to keep those laws. And, and had, would have been a lot of animals, you know, dying. And, you know, because back then the priest had to, if we sinned, the priest had to go and, and, and find, you know, a, 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 a lamb or, you know, you know a, a, not a, a cockeyed one. It had to be, you know, a, 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 a pretty lamb, clean, fresh lamb, you know, to, to kill, to offer for our sins. And when Christ went to the cross, you know, the, 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 the veil was split and, and that didn't ha have to happen anymore. You know, we can go to God to ourselves now. Amen, amen. I just want, want to, to throw that out there. I know that Christ's death and resurrection puts us under grace now. Well, being under grace, are we to murder? Is murder not in the Old Testament? Thou shalt not commit a, uh, murder. Are we to commit adultery? These commandments are in the Old Testament. Are, are, we, are we not supposed to obey our parents? All these are in the Old Testament. Amen. What did Christ say in Matthew 5 and 17? Well, let's go to it and let's see what Christ has to say about this. Matthew 5 and 17, he says, that, Do not think, do not think that I come to abolish the law, or the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Fulfill means to carry out or bring to a realization to perform or do or to obey or to follow. Amen? So Christ said himself. Y'all need that scripture again? Matthew 5 and 17. Those, those who believe that the Old Testament doesn't apply anymore. Well, that's a lie. 
That's a lie from the pit of hell. Christ, Christ just confirmed that. He came to fulfill it. Fulfill it. Amen. He came to he came to fulfill. I'm sorry, fulfill the the uh, Old Testament. Excuse me. Amen. So let's look at the New Testament condemnation. Let's look at what what the New Testament is saying. So as the Old Testament, the Old Testament also condemns. Uh, uh, the New Testament also, also condemns uh, astrology. But God turned away and gave them over to the worship of the heavenly bodies. This agrees with what is written in the book of the prophets. Did you bring me sacrifices and offerings 40 years in the de desert? O oh, house of Israel, you have lifted up the shrine of Molech and the star of your God, Rephan, the idols you made to worship. Therefore, I will send you into exile beyond Babylon. Acts 7, 42 and 43. So here Stephen gives more details of the idolatry referred to in, in, verse, th in verse 40. These were idols worshipped by Israel during their wilderness wandering. And you can find that in Exodus, Exodus 12, uh, 32 and 4. Molech, or the Moloch, is a god with a small g associated with the, the child sacrifice. And we talked about that earlier on. The child sacrifice. And Remphia, R-E-M-P-H-N-A is an Egyptian god with a small g. Amos also named Assyrians, deities worshipped by Israel. And that's in Amos 5, 25 to 27. So the bottom line is God is a jealous God. And he has a problem with us worshipping anybody other than him. He's got an issue. Amen. So if we call ourselves a Christian and we are going to fortune tellers, palm readers, reading horoscopes, going to mediums, etc., God has a problem with this. He is a great God Almighty. He is a great I am that I say that I am. Amen. He has a problem with it. He is the Lord God of the Lord of Lords. He is the king of kings. Beside him there is no other. So please do not play with him and come under his anger, his wrath, or his pruning, a Christian. Amen. Amen. We are to trust him at his word and trust him alone. In conclusion, in conclusion, although the, the heavens do not declare the God, the glory of God. They did not proclaim the gospel. The gospel was revealed to man by himself, who spoke through the prophets and came to earth in the person of Jesus Christ. Mm. Jesus Christ was our ultimate sacrifice. He was our ram in the bush. He died to save us to save us from a burning hell. All who accept him, though we die, we don't die. We have, a, we have eternal life. We live on forever. Oh God. So Jesus Christ, the apparent arrangement of the stars in the sky is a function of the human brain, which tries to find patterns in everything it interprets. Depending upon one's background and society, different shapes of objects are seen as constellations. And that's what we talk about in, in the first part of the lesson. Uh, C-O-N-S-T-L-L-A-T-I-O-N-S. So none of the constellations make such a clear picture that they could only be interpret, interpreted only one way. So studying, studying the stars to attempt to get some message from them is called astrology. 
and it is expressly prohibit, prohibited in the Bible. Christians should not dabble in astrology. Even if they don't really believe it's true, trust God. Trust God with your future and follow him in obedience in his word. Because he says, if you love me, if you love me, mm, you will obey my commands. You will obey my commands. Do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God. Say it again. Do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me, Jesus Christ. And that's John 14 and 1. Amen and amen. So that concludes uh, my lesson on astrology, horoscope, Zodiac signs, witchcraft, sorceries, mediums, the, the, the dark side. I pray that I have exposed Satan for what he is. I don't have a problem shaming Satan. I don't have a problem at all. So I pray, it is my prayer that this lesson uh, has touched hearts. Um, someone have seen themselves in parts of the lesson and said, Lord, I didn't know. You know, I didn't know that this was sin. Lord, please forgive me. Re repent and turn away from it with the intentions not ever to do it again. Not ever to, to do it again. That's what he wants from us. God loves us. He loves us more than he know. More than we know. Sorry. More than we know. God has sinned. He detests sin, but he loves his children. He loves his people. Amen. Amen. So I thank you guys for joining me. I want to go ahead and, and, and pray out with the lesson, at the end of the lesson, thanking God for, you know, allowing me to uh, come to the come to YouTube and, and teach, teach this lesson. Uh, I, I thank him so much for purpose on my heart. And I have many more lessons to bring to the forum. So uh, let's go to the Lord in, in prayer. Heavenly Father, I, I just come thanking you. I thank you for uh, giving me the desire to teach this lesson. Father God, I pray that you, that, that you women have gotten something out of the lesson, Father God, and that they will you know, share it with other, other women, other people, Father God. Uh, this, this is real. People are doing this today. People are dying in witchcraft and going to a burning hell. People are dying in sexual immorality. Going to hell. People are dying in fornication, Father God. So, Father, help us to be about your business. I pray for my Christians, brothers and sisters, too. So let us be about your business. Let us flood Facebook with prayers and and teaching of your truth. Let us let us flood YouTube with prayers and, and teaching of your truth. Let us flood Instagram. It teaches and, and, and flood with your truth for all social media, Father God. Because you said that Christ will not come back. Until all have heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. And have the opportunity to accept him as their Lord and Savior. And he's not going to come back. So we have to help our Christians, brothers and sisters to get on board with me and spread the gospel and pray and teach your truth, Father God. Oh God, I love you. I put no one above you. Thank you, Lord. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for an awesome lesson. Oh, I'll be back on another lesson haven't decided yet it's probably going to be demons then i'm going to go ahead and do uh you know some parts on that one because that's that one's very deep i taught that one you know, three or four times before it's very interesting it's very deep it's very real demons are real and i go through a lot of scriptures on that one so like i say always uh, subscribe to me 
because I'm going to be uh, uploading some, some powerful and some deep uh, poems and videos and prayers and all of that. So you want to subscribe and get notified when I happen to do this. So I thank you all for watching me. Uh, tell a friend, you know, you want to join Pearl, Pearl Robinson channel because she keeps it real for God. She's about kingdom business. So you'll have a blessed day or night or whenever you're watching this. And to God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Bye.